as you have already studied, you can associate measurements to resize parts automatically, thanks to the use of parameterized measurements. In this class, you will learn more about this aspect, as well as managing parameters. Let's use this model as a demonstration for this class. There are two ways in AutoCAD 2010 to link dimensions to a drawing, directly in Dimensions or on the Parameters Manager palette. The two ways to link directly to the dimension are The first way is to create a link when the dimension is inserted. In this case, after defining points to specify the elements which will be dimensioned, the program requests a numerical value definition for the measurement. Right then, you can define an expression or equality relationship for dimensions. See this example. If you wish to define the diameter of this hole to be half the size of the other hole, so let's name it as dia1. You select the diameter tool to define this dimension and specify the circumference for the measurement. Position the dimension and now you will define the expression as dia1, divided by 2 and then dia1 will be used as the dimension indicator reference. You can also define the same type of dimension from previously existing dimensions. Then to do this, just double click it to edit the value and substitute this value by the desired expression. Another way to relate measurements is by accessing the Parameter Manager palette. You can manage other inserted dimensions on this palette and define user-defined parameters which will be applied to expressions too. It is also possible to insert expressions by double-clicking the desired dimension in the Expression field and typing the expression. You can also change the dimension name by double-clicking the Name field, making it so easy to organize dimensions. Additionally, you can insert some constants used in expressions. It is possible to access the Create a new user parameter option to do this. Notice how when you click this option, a new item is inserted. This item can define the constant name in the Name column and its value or expression in the Expression column. Use this method to define the length of this drawing element. First, when you create a new parameter, name it Perimeter and type the expression as phi multiplied by d1. Notice how after you confirm the expression, the result is displayed in the value column. Another thing you must notice is when the phi constant is inserted, it is not necessary to specify its numerical value. This is due to the fact that some default constant values have already been stored in the AutoCAD program. After this parameter is inserted, let's specify the measurement value as one-third of the perimeter circumference. For this reason, type the expression as perimeter divided by 3. When any parameter change is made, then the dimension is updated automatically. The AutoCAD Help option lists all compatible operations for defining parameterized dimensions. 
In this class, you have studied how to relate several existing measurements in a drawing and also how to add expressions to calculate the measurement value. Use all these resources to make drafting editing become more practical and faster.